Boom. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I feel like it's been a while since we've been here, but it's been a couple of weeks, but welcome everybody. Um, just quickly, I'm Diana Londoño. I'm the founder of physiciancoachsupport.com, which is a free and confidential platform for any physician to get support since we are Many of us are struggling with burnout, and I'm here this morning with my amazing co-host, Dr. Nupi Arora. So welcome, Nupi. Hi, Diana. Good morning, my honey. How are you? Good, good, good. Excited yes, to be yeah. here. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It does feel like quite a long time ago, doesn't it? I know, I know. But we're excited today because our guest today is just really, you know, an amazing woman leader visionary and we have dr coriel today here this morning she is the founder and ceo of somi docs which is so doctors and social media.com uh, which is an amazing platform she's going to talk to us about for you know either if you're a physician and want to join or you're anybody in the medical space that wants to find really experts in the medical field so she's going to tell us all about it you know she really like i said is a leader a visionary she's really like the top 10 interns to follow on Twitter by Medical Economics. She's a top 20 social media physician influencer by Medscape. She gives, you know, lectures, um, you know, in many places. She's a writer, uh, really been found in many amazing uh, outlets uh, where, where she writes. And so we're, we're just so excited today to bring her on, let her speak um, and, and, and just tell us all about this because I'm really excited about it. Fantastic. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Let us know in comments where you're coming from. And do just keep flooding the comments with uh, questions. Hi, Dana. Good morning. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for having me on. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. This is amazing. I'm definitely excited. I can't wait to see where this conversation goes. <laughs> Uh, I don't love live streaming, but I feel like I'm in good hands with the both of you. So thank you. I appreciate that. Well, well we're, we're just here again, just to start the morning with intention of, you know, light and hope and excitement. That's really what it's about. And I think that, you know, you can tell us really how you started, but to me it really feels like as, you know, so many dogs, which will explain what it is. It really can be a place for others to find that community to have something to look forward to, whether there's a lecture that somebody's giving, you know, you find out about a course that they are, you know, doing and you can learn something. And when you have that enthusiasm for something, you're looking forward to something, I think that's a huge way to sort of get out of, you know, burnout and feeling depleted and hopeless. So, you know, you're an internist. So how did you transition from, you know, internist to now, you know, really being full-time at Somi Docs? Because now you're full-time, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I started out as a practicing internist for about 12, 13 years. Um, and of course, did the traditional medical doctor route my entire life. So did like a mid career transition. Um, it was a slow, gradual um, evolution of my becoming um, a digital expert. Um, I started while I was still practicing. I actually began when I took three years off of practicing when I stayed home with my third child. And I became acquainted with so many really cool things in life I just didn't know before, right? And that included cooking, design, things that just are not medical. And then I recognized that there was this growing thing called Facebook, right? Which we were all a part of socially, but like weren't because it, we just were scared of it. But I recognized that everybody was interacting on it and life was being affected by it. And there were no doctors on it. So I decided to start dabbling in it and... Over time, I created a very large community of physicians that were also interested in using it and um, starting conversations saying, well, how can we make a change? And I personally also, you know, grew a website and 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 really learned how to grow websites, how to create content and how to really make impact using social media space. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. That's incredible. So way ahead of the times, woman. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it is Mary the leader are, right? Like they see what other people don't see. And I really, when I think of that definition, I really think of you, Dr. Corey, because it's it's really like people don't see it and you see it so clearly. You know, it's like so obvious to you. People are like, what are you doing? Why? I mean, I think 
you were ahead of your times, you know, like thinking this is important. And you're trying, you're really being humble because you have like 40,000, 50,000, I mean, like followers and your groups are ginormous. You know, I don't even, I, maybe you can tell us how you form these huge communities because I think that that would be helpful for, for people. But, you know, you really th talk about the power of, you know, connecting and using social media and the importance of doctors, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, to be in social media, to have your own website or space. Tell us more about why you think that's important. So when you look to disrupt, you're looking for something that's broken. Mm -hmm. And how can you make a difference in actually make bringing about change so that that break gets fixed? So one of just one of the things that I realized was that um, doctors weren't online. Okay, so you build a community and you teach the doctors. Another thing I realized was not existing, was a space where the world can actually find those doctors that were innovating online, right? So if Diana Londonio decides to build a free resource for coaching, that's amazing. If you think about it, I mean, how many coaching resources are free? Fine, great. How are the doctors supposed to know that Diana Londonio exists, especially if Diana Londonio is an individual, right? She's not like a VC backed startup and she's not a system startup, right? Because the systems have their own coaching things and they don't want Diana Londonio's coaching to be attended. They want theirs to be attended. So the problem I was trying to disrupt was that you have all these incredible individual doctors, but they definitely don't have the resources nor the time to build a presence on social media. Enter SOMIDOCS, which stands for Doctors on Social Media. Now, just one of the things we do is publicly showcase these individuals as the rock stars of healthcare, because you've got many Diana Londonios who are building their own resources, but they're just one. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard for them to get the word out. So that's why I built the platform on doctorsonsocialmedia.com where the world, anybody that's interested in health and healthcare can come and can find what they need, whether it's finding a doctor on our data bank, and you can literally be a patient. You can be a business that's looking for a speaker. You could be a business that's looking for an influencer for your brand. Every doctor can be found based on where they're present on social media. So if you want to find a doctor that's on Instagram, you can use the filters. But we have that. We have articles. We have magazine articles where Diana Londonio has written for in the past. But we've got articles that we circulate. We've got our side gigs. So things like when we build podcasts and books, your, your podcast is on it. Mm -hmm. I built a space where the world can literally land on and say, well, here's what I need. Now, let me go to the category that I need and find an expert in health for my needs. Brilliant. Yes, that's, that's so cool. I am so joining. I have actually looked at it and I am literally, sign me up now, woman. Sign me up. <laughs> Well, I think it's great because it's, it's really addressing two different groups, right? Like it's the physicians who also can find that community and maybe connect with other physicians. Like say, I'm like Dr. Um, Victoria Sorley Aguilar, who is an expert in menopause and, you know, women's health. And maybe she wants to find other people to collaborate or what are they doing? And so you find those other physicians that you can collaborate with and maybe do something together. So it works for that as a collaboration space. It works for highlighting your own things that you're doing, whether you as a physician, you know, you're a speaker and you want to speak more, you can go to so many dogs and put yourself as a speaker so people can find you and you can speak at conferences or, you know, any event with your expertise because we are experts, whether in the exam room or outside, and you don't have to be quote unquote an entrepreneur. You just have to share your expertise. And I think that's great for this platform. And again, for other people that are looking for that physician expert, this is a place to find them and say, I want you at my event, um, or I want you to be a, a guest speaker at a podcast or whatever it is. And that's a place to find. So it's just a nice central hub to find all these resources easily. And that, you know, they're vetted. They're not, 
you know, kind of like some quacks that, you know, don't truly, you know, are following kind of standards. So this is just so, so beautiful. And it's a beautiful visual space too. If you've been to it, uh, there'll be some links on the chat of how beautiful the space is. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. And exactly like when, when I built it, it was meant for anyone in the world to, when they land there, to be able to navigate through it and find what they need. The issue is that it's a space online. It's not like a real world, but I'm trying to build it in the same way that I would build a real world building. Let's say like a mall, right? If you're walking into a mall, you know that you can walk into one store and you can walk into another. That was the challenge that I was facing um, in disrupting in the space is how can I build the platform and the website more like a mall where everyone who comes in knows exactly what department they're visiting based on what they need. Um, it's a public website. So at the end of the day, that's sort of different than what exists today is you're really coming into a mall or a library and you can find exactly the kind of resource that you need for your project. Yeah, I think that's fab. And I think also, you know, the people who certain physicians, doctors who are disrupting, who are doing things slightly differently. It's it's the collaboration approach and as well as the connection, which is crucial because you think, you, you know, the conventional medical model, for example, my style is very whole person centered, heart centered practice. I'm a family physician in the UK and, you know, I actively bring mind, body and soul into clinical practice. Amazing. And I'm very open about that. Mm -hmm. And I know over time, this is not the norm, but it's my norm. And it's when you marry that with the science of medicine, that's where the true healing and transformation starts. And for before I joined this platform, actually, I, I used to think, gosh, there must be other people who do what I'm doing and I want to find them. Mm. And it's since joining LinkedIn, what, five months ago that that's exactly what's happening because I'm writing about the stuff that I'm passionate about and people are sort of gravitating. You, you're finding like-minded individuals. And I think for a profession in medicine where the culture is, here you go, let's stay in this box, let's stay here. It can be quite lonely when you're doing something a bit more alternative or you're stepping out of the traditional and I think having a space that you've created is spot on. Thank you. Thank you, LinkedIn user, for celebrating my norm. I love it. Thank you. Um, but I think that is absolutely amazing that this is a space you can find other like-minded. It's brilliant. It's just well done. No, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I, I'm a big fan and I am affiliate because I believe in it. First of all, I believe in strong women. I believe in elevating other women and men too. But also, I mean, just the short time I've been there, I've, I really have gotten you know, friendships that I wouldn't have otherwise met um, through going through networking events that you do that are like virtual, but they're amazing. And you also did an in-person in New York, which I heard was like a hit. People didn't want to leave. Um, right. But you network with other physicians and you learn what they're doing and you support them. And like, that's where we need to be and change that paradigm of, mm -hmm. you know, competitiveness and cattiness and, you know, not elevating other people. And I think that's why I really, to me, resonate with, you know, even when you write an article, you know, you, you can write in many outlets and, you know, I've written Medscape and all, a lot of places, but even though they do have the audience, it's just sort of there. And with so many dogs, um, what happens is like you retweet it and you put it in your Facebook. And so it gets like, you know, more traction, more eyes on your article, which then will lead to your website because it's linked to your website in your space. So people can get to know you a little bit more and really see what you're doing. So it's really about co-marketing because I think you're also, you know, being a little humble, but really a genius of co-marketing. Right. Um, you know, you write something for your site, but then, you know, people are going to come to also to your side that you, you have. And so it's like win-win of elevating everybody and more people finding you at Swimmy Dogs, more people finding us in our own space. And I really I, like that. 
Yeah, I think that what you're hitting on is actually one of the things that I get asked a lot, right, is why is it different for me to, I'm, I'm already writing on LinkedIn. I don't want to give you my content. Now, that's a, a good question. Um, I actually have a segment on that with Dr. Edward Leap that I'm going to be releasing, um, discussing that. Um, sure. I mean, if we, each of us writes, you know, Harry Potter, then I would understand why you don't want to share it. But we're not really writing Harry Potter. We're actually writing conversational pieces that we want amplified. Yeah. So what I try to teach physicians is even if you're writing really great content on your own website and their blogs, it's like writing in a desert. It's like opening a shop in a desert. Nobody knows that your shop exists in a desert. So what you have to do is you have to work with entities that have greater reach. Okay, enter LinkedIn, fine. But beyond that, wouldn't it be great to also work with someone who's promoting your work with you? And that's where Somedox is completely different than anything else out there, you know, whether it be Medscape, whether it be LinkedIn, again, those are great outlets, but yeah. they don't co-promote your work with you. And that's sort of what is different about what we have built. Now, just, I don't know if everybody knows this, but another thing that's coming down the pipeline with Somedox is this really cool idea um, of we're going to reopen. We have a Facebook group that's filled with doctors only, right? We need a community where we can share, but we also need to do that structured, right? Because we can't just have a free for all. It doesn't make sense. So we are looking to reopen the doctors only Facebook group for our large audience um, and have it be opened in a pulse fashion, which means that every month it's only open for five days. And each of those days has a topic like a niche. And it's almost like we're going to have a conference every month about different topics. And the doctors can come in and weigh in on the different topics, depending on the day that they're logging in. Um, I think it's going to be fantastic. So just stay tuned. Uh, and I'm definitely, we're looking to bring in doctors that want to be involved with organizing that. Because I think that there does not exist a space on social media where doctors are free to network without censorship and it's done in a way that's structured love it okay? yeah so that that i'm really excited about and that's going to happen the first month is going to be uh, october 31st through the end of that work week so monday through friday and then every month after that we're going to be trying this out fantastic Amazing. Okay. There's a couple of questions that have come up, which I've wanted to highlight, actually. Um, Victoria, hi, Flama, love you, um, has asked, um, what sort of support do does Somidoc give to a doctor who signs up, was her question. Right. So, you, so we actually are currently um, undergoing a change of the memberships. We have two different kinds of memberships. We're just combining it into one because I think the doctors are just a little bit too confused. I think it's an innovative concept. So until we sort of grasp it, we're going to combine it into one. There's a lot of perks that you get for becoming a member. Um, you could check them out on the website, but some examples are um, you get to have a profile built for you. This is not like a LinkedIn profile. This is a magazine quality profile, which means it, you're, you exist on a website and you exist in a data bank where you can be found based on many filters. You can submit articles and you can even recycle your blog posts. And if you check out our magazine, you will see what they look like and what they become. They, do, they become amazing. Um, we circulate you on our social media platform. So every article that you write, for example, gets circulated across 40,000 new audience members. How great is that to introduce you to our audience? Um, you also get to build a portfolio in any of our sections, whether if you've written a book in the books blog section, if you have a podcast in the podcast section, if you want to be a speaker that's hired for an event speaker section, there's a course section um, there's coach section, there's community section. If you lead a Facebook community, for example, um, and then there's a new lectures, uh, section, which is very much like TEDx, mm -hmm. except that with TEDx, you deliver the talk and then that's it, right? With SomiDocs, you deliver a talk, we promote it to our audience, but we make that talk live on our website and you actually get to decide if your talk is going to be for a fee. So if 
You want your talk to be $30, for example, you can make passive income by sharing something really powerful and of value and having Mm -hmm. us host it and keep it and promote it. Yeah, that's, so that's, really, that's something new that you did. And I think it like people really jumped on it because I mean, we are experts um, and we have the knowledge and then it's just you you deliver it in a nice, you know, uh, form and it lives there. And then again, you can charge and people can just find it there like, oh, like maybe it's a menopause talk, like we just talked about Dr. Aguilar, or maybe it's about, you know, uh, like how to work LinkedIn or whatever you want to talk about or diet or nutrition or anything. And it just lives there forever. People can come and find it. I think that's amazing. And I love that you always change, innovate, pivot. I think for people in medicine, sometimes we are a little bit linear and a little bit inflexible. And I think as an entrepreneur and as just a person, forget entrepreneurship, the ability to have flexibility, to pivot, to change, to say, well, did this work? Well, can we do it different? You know, just always adjusting and not being so rigid of like, this is the way that it is. And like, you know, here it is. I think that's a great thing just to learn, like this skill of pivoting, of changing, of, you know, re-evaluating everything, whether it's your life choices, whether it's how you're going to show up for the day, you know, we got to reevaluate all that. I think that's a great lesson that we can take, you know, throughout. Mm-hmm. And I think also it's, it's about the support again, because it's magnifying as, as Victoria has said in the comments, each other's voices. And I think in, in, in your physician's journey, there are, there are some physicians who are very, as you've said, Diana, very linear. And it's very much, it's like that old, you know, when you're doing an exam at school and you're doing this, some people are like one of those and like, no, 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 you can't look at, no, I'm not going to help you. Or they say, have you done any revision? And you kind of go, well, I used to anyway, go, no, I've not, I've not, I've not really, I've just been out all the time. And like, yeah, me too, me neither. And actually they're just totally blagging it. I think there's this unity of people who get each other and who have that same shared interest in not feeling afraid of being slightly different perhaps or alternative or I guess exploring other avenues apart from just clinical work, physician work. And I think that's the way this is going for people to retain the passion for what they do as well, because it's, it's, Otherwise, it's just too much. And I think it's giving permission to do that as well. It's not just one way. So I think, sorry, but I'm saying like that creative outlet, I think you're touching on, uh, Nupi, about creating something, looking forward to doing something else, even without the, you know, the nine to five, whatever time you're in the clinic or not of something else to look forward to, which again, Mm -hmm. goes back to that passion. And that passion is so important to feel some excitement and have something to look forward to. But I didn't want to interrupt. Tell me, Dr. Correll. No, I I was going to say, I I can identify um, with Dr. Nupi because I also am very much out of the box. And I got that sort of feedback from my patients when I was practicing internal medicine. That said, I can also recognize that just, you know, we're all humans and humans sort of have different personalities, right? There's like a gamut, a spectrum of what we're like. And I think that other humans can identify with different kinds of personalities. So maybe I'm a bit much for some people and maybe other people want a bit much in order to identify with us as physicians. So the beauty of it all is that everybody should be marketed and promoted. The problem is that doctors aren't recognizing that they should market themselves. A lot of doctors are allowing sort of big systems to market for them. And they don't recognize that then the big system sort of almost like owns you because they're marketing you, but then where are you as the individual? Like now is the time to build yourself a profile, to build presence online that doesn't have to be in a talk show. You can literally build presence by just building a static website, which is a portfolio for what you've achieved. Because at the end of the day, right, if you're looking to speak at events or you wanna be an advisor to a startup, how are you going to get that position if that startup or event doesn't even know that you exist? 
And even if they know that you exist, they don't know what you're an expert in or what you're like. So that's what we're trying to do at Somi Docs is A, teach doctors this really powerful concept. And then we have built a tool, that website, doctorsonsocialmedia.com, where we can help to showcase you. Brilliant. And I think, you know what, I think it's like our, our systems are very different in the States and in the UK. Right. And the one thing I have learned specifically, I, I guess, in the last six months, very, very quickly, is, you know, I'm passionate about what I do. I am passionate about sharing my method, my F list, for example, with my patients. And as what you've actually said, yes, my community knew what I did, how I did it. Nobody else does. And in in a wider spectrum is what I mean. And what I found is, I think this applies to many medics, many physicians. It's, you're not very comfortable at going, hi, this is who I am. This is what I do. And let's just talk about this, 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 and this. It, it's just very, I think if anything, physicians are very, you know, head down. There's a lot of humility in what you do as well. And it's, it's perfectly okay to go, you know what, this is who I am. This is what I do. And I'm bringing this to mm. share with so many people. And that's, that's not, I don't think that's very commonly done. Actually, it's this ingrained bit in you. That's like, mm, actually, no, I, you, you don't really want to talk about yourself or you don't want to showcase what you do. Um, that's, that's yeah, my yeah, and I, I don't think we've had to is the issue here. And again, right? What? I, I don't think we've had to in the past. I think yes. that it was a given that we were the leaders in healthcare and people were going to come to doctors. But the unfortunate reality of living today is that we, we just don't necessarily, we're, we're not looked at in the same way, A. B, we've been taken advantage of as individuals in healthcare. So Mm -hmm. I do think that it's time for doctors to wake up and open their eyes and sort of look around and really say to yourself, am I being owned to some degree versus do I want to own myself and my intellectual property? Um, It's a real thing to ask yourself nowadays. And I think it's important that, you know, when you, let's say, leave an institution and place, I mean, when you have your own profile, your own everything, it goes with you. So for example, even like your ratings, if you have ratings with your institution, the moment you leave that institution, they're going to go poof, be gone. So it doesn't matter if you have five stars in that institution rating of your comments and how patients rate you, when you leave, they're gone. So if you don't build something for yourself or outside of that, then it's just going to be gone. And so when you have your own profile, no matter if you're on your own private practice or you work for somebody, it's just gonna go with you wherever you go. So, um, you know, we're running out of you know our time today, but I want to really have uh, you know maybe three things that you know physicians can get out of this talk or this concept of how to be on social media. So, what can you share with them? Uh, three things that you have found that really important for for you know your presence in, in, in social media and getting out there what would you share with everybody whether it's a physician or out there but really for physicians really um who are maybe kind of worried about social media oh that's a toughie um on the spot i mean I, I would probably say one um i would heavily recommend that you consider being on social media, but also reframing the way you look at social media from social media to just media, like take out the word social and look at it as media and then approach it from that perspective. I think that really helps people to kind of get into social media. That's a, um, B, um, really curate your presence. Like don't just go in it and just kind of write things and share them because on social media, it's forever. You have to really join like a group of like-minded people and a community like Docs, where we are trying to do similar things and it's open and it's supportive. And we're really just all entrepreneurially mm-hmm. approaching building presence. That's two. Um, three, you know, it's really defining what you want to achieve, right? And 
and that's where a lot of people do find a coach or a digital coach or someone where you've got to really define, okay, this is what I want to do. And then lay out the steps to getting there mm -hmm. and taking it one step at a time, because a lot of us kind of go on it and get a lot of sort of praise that we're on social media and we're like, yay. And then the praise falls because people are sort of used to us mm -hmm. and we need to constantly come up with really fresh material. And that's where you can really use some help either yeah. from a community or from a personal consultant, et cetera. Yeah. Love that. So how can people find you just, obviously we're talking about the website, you know, doctorsandsocialmedia.com, but also just you, if they want to learn more about you, because you also have your own, you know, platform and, and business as a, you know, entrepreneur, but also as a digital advisor. So how can they find you in which platforms you're everywhere, like glitter, like new peak glitter everywhere, but where can they find you? Yeah, I'm everywhere. My handles are Dr. Coriel is my personal handle. That's me as a consultant. And then there's um, a consultant strategist, content creator. I work with large companies. I work with individuals. But then there's SomiDocs, which is my business and my startup. And going there, the handle is SomiDocs. Going there, you will find more than just me because I represent doctors on that site. So that's not, that's, I own the site, but that's my platform where I showcase everyone else. So the two are Dr. Coriel and Somi Docs. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's been so insightful and I can't wait to join, quite frankly. It's, yeah. it's just brilliant. And I'm sure this will inspire quite a few phys other physicians out there to, to just go, you know what? Yes, this is, sounds perfect for me at this, at this time of my life. It's brilliant. Thank so thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you so much, ladies, for having me on. I truly appreciate it. Of course. Oh, a pleasure. Don't go anywhere. We'll come and join you in the green room in a few minutes as we wrap up. Okay. Well, Noopy, that was, oh, there she goes. That was so good to just yeah. really have a place to, again, showcase you, your writings, your podcast, your book, you know, where do you want to put it so people can find it? This is a great place. So everything mm -hmm. in the show notes, how to find this. If you want to learn more, you can reach out to me or obviously Dr. Coriel. Um, but Nupi, how can they find you too? So yes. anybody so, that wants to learn more about your F list and everything you're doing, your coaching, how can they find you? So you can find me here on LinkedIn pretty much. And I have a Live with the Glitter Practitioner, which is every Monday at eight o'clock BST, which is 12 noon Pacific Daylight Time. And obviously every other week on a Tuesday with Diana. And you can find all my contact details are going to be on the show notes. And you can contact me for Find Your Fizz and Flourish, my coaching program. So, yeah, I'm mainly on LinkedIn, actually. Yeah, it's so important for people to find that light that feel, you know, overwhelmed, kind of just a little sludgy to really how do you get out of that molasses of just feeling blah and really have that light and that excitement and enthusiasm, you know, come back in their eyes. So I hope people reach out just to find out what can, you know, coaching help you get from point A to B, which is usually from like A to like joy and excitement, you know, that light. So Absolutely. For me, if anybody wants to find out more about me, I'm on, you know, uh, LinkedIn. I'm on my own website, dianalondonomd.com or Twitter, Instagram, dianalondonomd. But also, if you're a physician, you feel lost, you feel like an imposter, you had a complication, you are struggling with a decision, and you want peer-led support that is one-on-one -on -one and confidential and free, go to physician coachsupport.com. We're there seven days a week via Zoom to support you so you can thrive, so you can get out of molasses, of burnout, and really start living with joy and with enthusiasm. Don't forget to, uh, you know, watch us, uh, you know, on the replay or on Spotify. You can also watch the audio version and rate us, subscribe, you know, and really just share with others who might find value on this content. So, Thank you, Dr. Noopy. Thank you for everybody tuning in from everywhere and all, everybody on the chat. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in two weeks for talking about really exciting things, menopause, women's health with Dr. Victoria Sorley Aguilar. It's going to be amazing. Cool. Thank you for joining us and we shall see you very soon. Mm -hmm.